Okay, I'm gonna be down there. I'm gonna stay down there. Okay. Okay. Go back your way. No, you gotta go back. Yeah. 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 everybody who wants to learn so it's our first big step to like making it a solid shelter for people who want to come down and support us and support this Vahi come Malama Aina with us so we figure you know if there's a, a place for everyone to come and, and gather the people will gather so it's really exciting it's significant for us and and we're trying to use as much of the Aina as possible so we're making it out of the Ohe here that just grows right next to our OA. Um, yeah, and practicing our lashing, uh, getting it all in. So, yeah, it's exciting. You know, one day these guys might need a
Ja, ik ben het niet zo goed. Ik ben het niet zo goed. Ik ben het niet zo goed. Ik ben het niet zo His grandfather went plant the bamboo. We knew one day that one day the grandchildren they can survive. Use the old net he found from the ocean, you know. And use the rope, recycle, reuse everything, you know. And, uh, this is great. This is, uh, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Man. It's always been a place of like a pool honua, this area right here where the children play and a playground and where our families just gather simple things to eat and everyday life. So. Oh yeah, we all gotta improvise and uh, you know look at what our kupunas left us, the diet especially, how they ate, uh, you know, and, and also being the regulators and the one to 
the ones to uh, to uh, gather their food and know where it came from and what was put in it. Wainiha is well known for uh, it's very uh, the, the special families here that you know they cook up a lot of food for all the families. And that's one thing that we do. We cook a lot and share a lot of food. You let go, you leave. You can stay, you can stay. Thank you, Cruising. Oh, no, I'll come back. You have to put coconut inside. I'll go do it later, though. Let's go, hurry up, I'm going to you guys. Let's go. Come on, fool. I caught like 30 prawns in that trap. <laughs> the most prawns I ever did, kid. Gather everything here and uh, what we what we have, you know, kalo, lo'i, uh, you know, we have the ma'ya, many different fruits, you know, uh, ava, a lot of vegetables too that we have growing here, uh, la'ao, uh, la'ao lapa'ao that we have, you know, medicines and, and uh, plants that grow around and abundantly. Wainiha is known for uh, its for its ohanas and the way they, the lifestyles that they have, and not only kalo but everything else. So you know just just practicing that food security for our own selves and you know not to be depending on outside uh, GMO, uh, how should you say, uh, contaminated foods that we don't know where it came from but you know these are practices that our families uh, lost not only because of uh, you know separation from their land but also just the separation from their livelihood. You know how to make tronets, any kind. Oh. Traditional fishing, not only in the ocean but also in the river, and, and uh, passing those things on and keeping things alive. Uh, net making, hunting uh, for pua'a, and also building canoe parts for our voyaging canoes and, and stuff like that. But,
And we're here with the amazing kanes of Wainiha and they are here on their beautiful Va'anamahoi. And we're going to talk a little bit about this but I really wanted to exemplify how this particular ba is the youngest ba'a right now in the Polynesian Voyaging Society of Kli, and they represent to me the tip of the spear because these guys are Malama Aina up Mocha and they take it and they feed the crew. So those of you guys know I already know Ka'imi and Jesse. Well, you guys want to tell us a little bit about the um, about your ba'a here? Um, this is uh, this is the ba'a Namahoe. It's our our, our Kawaii and Ihao ba'a. It's about uh, seventy. Uh, 72 feet, maybe even more, 77, and by 16 feet, it's one of the bigger va'as on in Polynesia. And uh, I've been working for it for a while. We have our Ohana over here today working. We have uh, one of our captains is our original crew member of the uh, Okulea, Uncle John Cruz, and our other captain is uh, Uncle Kanika Dennis Chan. And we're also part of the partnerships with KK, uh, KCC, uh, Kauai Community College. Awesome. This is Jesse over here. Woohoo, Jesse! Oh, wow. You guys know these are infamous duo over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does Namahoy mean to you? Oh well, Namahoy is our is our connection to the rest of the world and our connection to our Ohana around the Paiaina and is our connection. It's our whole basis of life. Is how we ended up here on, in this beautiful Moku and brought all of our. Uh, sustainable living with us, our kalo and everything and so Kanu is life. He vaha, he moku, he moku, he vaha. So we talk, we're talking a lot, like a lot of the conversations that we've been having is about how with climate change happening that there has to be a better way, a better pathway forward and the vaa is really exemplify traditional sciences, traditional kanaka sciences and the way that they united the world with the sciences from all around the world and you guys represent part of that fleet and are part of trying to bring on traditional Ipono onto the Ma'a as well. So, um, and part of it is looking at preparing for the time when we no more planes, we don't have cars, and doing it in a good way, in a spiritual way, in a connected way. So, tell us a little bit about your guys, um, the Maya Ai that you, that you guys have uh, grown and cultivated, and uh, the fact that it's occupied territory that they try to steal it from you guys, and how you use it to sustain and help feed the people on the Ma'a. Well, basically, Namahoy is like pretty much completing uh, like sacred teachings of our families and of our Ohana. Some say it's like prophecies that you know that we are to make our canoe to complete this uh, system and to assure this system of the Ahupua and how important it was for you know all the Paiaina and Hawaii to understand and uh, preserve and restore and also to activate the Ahupua system by Mauka to Makai, taking care of the water, and as it flows to the low it makes its way to the ocean. Those are all the abundance that we need to protect and preserve. So some of the things that we uh, like to share and preserve is uh, the protection of the Vai from the Mauka, and there is all the different fishes, is the whole view, and you know, it starts at the white pole from the mountains. All the, the whole thing, you know, we like to keep it pure, and and uh, abundant and you know, organic and still practice those ways today and pass it on to our, our OPO and our families and our kiki. Most of us it makes its way to the gardens. We have our kalo, the ulu, uh, the new. Some of the things that we brought was kalo, uh, ulu, new, and you know, doing it the old way and bringing it over and making things survive and with the puli and prayers that can come here and make home and bring that energy to this island also. That's awesome. Homanamana, yeah? Aye, so, aye. And you guys, you, you help plant Kalo and uh, you guys are doing a lot with your Aina, yeah? Yeah, we do. We had uh, well, multiple times on our like our crew, crew trainings. We, we, yeah, we hook Taro from our Taro patch. And, yeah, you know already, we cannot uh, be dependent on like the stores and Costco's and Kirkland. We gotta perpetuate the, the mana eye and the real food when we stay on the, the waka and that's what it's all about is our you know our connection to everything and gotta keep it real one of the things too that we try to uh, do is this training the OPO and you know all the families and 
people new and you know old that like to keep on those traditions and customs and most of all to preserve this knowledge of how to gather when to you know uh, collect things and also when to plant and also how to prepare food so it's not easy yeah you know, it's, it's not automatic you gotta yeah, you gotta practice, yeah. practice and, you, know, <laughs> you gotta practice it we like to use a, we like to manifest things you know yeah, manifest manifest things it, and like that one. have it planted and you know also at the same time uh, marking certain uh, uh, you know, like the things that are going on with the planets and the seasons by planting with the season and, uh, and seeing and you know, being your own little scientist and recognizing and seeing the difference and most of all finding what works for each individual, yeah, because everyone has their own mana and sometimes it might be a little different from each other and but maintain where you're all, you know, uh, restoring the aina together and that way and not only just the resource of the aina, and the food and the fishes, but also restoring our people. So that's the real big restoration projects that we like to put out there and share with our ohana is restoring our families and the pride in our people and Kulaa Hill, you know, and, and stand strong for what we know is right and also for our lovely. Alright, <laughs> ew, alright, aloha Aina, you guys. So they're over here, Kauai representing. For the first time being on the island, Namahoy. It's the first yeah. time we crossed Kauai. Baho Channel, first time in the concrete jungle. We're here for the arrival ceremony of Hokulea this Saturday on June 17th. It's gonna be beautiful and yeah, everybody come down and see all the the Ohana Ba, all the all the canoes from around and just fulfilling all the prophecies. Hokulea coming back from his worldwide voyage and Namahoe is the from Kauai, the oldest island is the last canoe to be birthed into the into Kanaloa, so it's it's time to rise up. Aloha. 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 So you guys are on Facebook Live to Kauai. 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 Oh, I know, but we're, you're, I'm just you're telling you who you're looking at. That's Kauai. <laughs> This, this one is from Oahu.
we gather everything here and uh, what we what we have, you know, kalo, lo'i, uh, you know, we have the my, uh, many different fruits, you know, uh, ava, a lot of vegetables too that we have growing here, uh, la'ao, uh, la'ao lapa'ao that we have, you know, medicines and, and uh, plants that grow around and abundantly. So, you know, just just practicing that food security for our own selves and, you know, not to be depending on outside uh, GMO, uh, how should you say, uh, contaminated foods that we don't know where it came from. And also building canoe parts for our voyaging canoes and, and stuff like that. But Wainiha is known for, uh, its, for its ohanas and the way they, their lifestyles that they have, and not only kalo, but everything else. <laughs> I will try and see if I can get some more of these too. Nice over. That's about 60 bucks. So Kaimi, this this bamboo right here that this is being built from. This uh this is connected to your Ohana? Yeah actually uh when I was a little kid my my, my, my grandfather and my, my dad uh, uh my my dad's stepdad we we brought this from the Lumahai Valley. After uh, fishing and hunting up in there, we, we took just one little branch and we planted one here and one more up the road, and then it grew into this big forest. And yeah, you know, it's beautiful. Always, always trimming it back, but yeah, we just, at one point uh, we planted it here, and now it's just diving. <laughs> nice to have and always useful to have bamboo around. <laughs> Yeah, we put, we're putting up this alley because uh, we're going to be having a work day. Well, well the yesterday uh, it, was, it was storming, it was thunder and lightning and flash flooding over here. And now today is, it's a nice day, but you can't really tell. But yeah, we're just making this shelter for all the Ohana and families and friends who are going to be coming out and uh, hanging out with us and learning about what's going on with, with the Aina and what's going on with the taro patch, with the lo'i, and how they can uh, be, you know, of help service or, or help and, and kokua with us what we're doing and uh, most of all we're going to be just making this shelter so we can have meetings with all the families in ohana and doing paperwork and uh, you know looking doing some research and stuff so yeah we never had nothing we weren't prepared for all the ohana not, and uh, so we needed to build this shelter so everybody comfortable and can keep everything dry and have a shelter so when everybody come we can be uh, doing uh, our full potential of work <laughs> So you know, just Hawaiian style, just find whatever kind of loose rope we have and use what we get around because we're kind of in the boonies over here, it's, it's very far to the stores and, and you know, any kind of hardware store or anything or, you know, we don't have money for buy wood and stuff but we just, the mana of the, you know, the Hales and building it together is all a family thing so everybody gets part in it and that's how we like to do it and keep everybody all together that way. One big house. <laughs> Over just. I come in for a just leave them. Yeah. Yep. Right there. 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 Oh, excuse me, Uncle. Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys can just load them, chop on top, space them out. Don't go too far. Stay back so we can do that thing.
Wainiha is known for uh, its for its ohanas and the way they, their lifestyles that they have, and not only kalo, but everything else. So, in in a way, you could say that this is still a functional community, it's still a functional ahupua'a. Oh yes, like it's, it's somewhat a somewhat a village ahupua'a with our families. A lot of our families still exist here. You know, they're struggling, but this is the pu'uhonu, the place where they can come and rest and visit other ohana and. You know, be in a place where they can gather and, and share and most of all just, just strive as, as family. You know, it's just a consensual thing from the families. We don't need a stamp from the state of Hawaii or a county or anything like that. This is a lifestyle. Watching the place change over and over, especially then uh, removing the stones and uh, respecting access to the burial sites. You know, somebody has to say, you know, this is enough. Someone, you know, we had, something has to be done, you know, to to stop them or to bring in a different energy. So most of all, it was just the interest to the lo'i and malama the lo'i. And we, we take care and put the kalo back where it belongs and, you know, grow food for the ohana. It's pretty simple. And that's where we stand, standing in the lo'i. You know, we're, 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 the, few, we're the few left that still hold on to these traditions and then uh, it's about preserving them and passing it on to our ohana and everyone else to learn and so we can implement that in everyone's lives to be healthy. And you're passing it on to future generations. We share as best as we can and aloha everybody. Without this kind of a group in an area, as we've seen many places, next yeah. thing you know, there is no core forest. There is no lehuas. Kaimi, can you tell me what does Aloha Aina mean to you in this context? Uh, Aloha Aina for me uh, very much means to be on the Aina and uh, to malama e, to, to make pono and let our ohane and our family, uh, kupuna guardians, guide us. And, Aloha Aina to me also is showing what you know by doing and by creating and most of all sharing. And uh, Aloha Aina to me is uh, you know, standing up also for what you know is pono and going against anything that's wrong or heva. And Aloha Aina to me is also enjoying and with the family and passing it on that way.
Well, I don't know. Somebody said one time along the trail was Roselle Bailey. She said she was teaching a hula, eh? She come hula. Bailey family from uh, uh, from Maui, Maui, Oluwalu She said you follow them, follow the man who can build a house in one day. That's that guy we gonna follow. Yeah. So I always try to practice that. We can do it in one day then. Yeah, you drink your water. Yeah, I'm going to make my lua. Aye. Okay. And then, you know, my fire. Aye. I was going to light fire too in the back tonight, make sure I'm on time. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Luna, Tawahi, Iluna. You get plenty of money to work with. Bless this house. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, one day. So I told him, hold on, 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 hold on,